Hey guys, in this video I'll be going over the solutions to problems E and F from Art Coder Beginner Contest 218. And this is going to be a pretty short video because both of their solutions have like a single observation. So I'll mostly spend most of the time on explaining the statement and my code. And before we get started, make sure you join the Discord server I just created for my YouTube channel. The link to the invite will be in the description below. So starting with problem E, we are basically given a weighted graph with n vertices and m edges. And we have to remove some edges from the graph so that the sum of weights of those edges that we remove is maximized. But the condition is that after removing our edges, the graph still has to remain connected. So this can be viewed as we want to create we want to keep a subset of vertices in this graph because and it's easier to think of the problem in that way which is that we want to create a subset of vertices in this graph such that so that the vertices that aren't in this graph we can just add up the costs of those and that's basically our answer um so and the vertices we want to keep, they actually form a minimum spanning tree because we want to maximize the weight of the edges that we remove. We want to minimize the total weight of the subset of edges we keep. So the only thing we have to do in this problem really is we have to create a minimum spanning tree and really any minimum spanning tree works. And after that, we'll have some positive edges and negative edges not in the minimum spanning tree. So from that, we just want to add up all of the positive edges and that's our answer. So the code for that is pretty simple. This is just my union find disjoint sets struct. Uh, I take in the edges as input. I sort them. I create a minimum spanning tree. And so this, what this line does is if those two nodes are already connected, then this edge can't be added to our minimum spanning tree. So if this edge weight is positive, then I'll add it to the answer. Otherwise I won't do anything with it. Yeah, and that's pretty much it for this problem. So moving on to problem F, we again have a directed graph with N vertices and M edges. And this time each edge has a length of one as a value of one. So what we want to do is for all of the edges, we want to see, we want to find the minimum distance from vertex one to n if we remove that edge. So we remove edge one, we perform a breadth first search and we print the distance. We remove edge two, we perform a breadth first search and we print the distance. That's basically what the problem wants us to do. But the thing is we can't directly do that. We can't just keep, remove one edge and then perform a breadth first search on the rest of the graph because we have about n squared edges and a breadth first search in this graph due to that reason would take n squared time. So n squared edges and n squared time for a breadth first search is basically O of n to the four, which is just way too slow. So there's one observation in this. And that is, if you consider any shortest path in our graph, just pick any shortest path, then for any edge not lying on that shortest path, if you remove it from a graph, the answer is still the shortest distance given to us by that shortest path we chose. So for edges not on that shortest path, we can just straight away say that their answer is the shortest distance in the input graph. Uh, but now if you consider the shortest path, then if we remove any edge, we will have to recalculate the answer for the whole graph. But the good thing here is that now we've actually limited the number of edges we remove to n minus one because the sh any path from one to n will have at most n minus one edges. So yeah, and then, so doing a breadth first search for O of n edges is basically O of n cube which will easily pass this problem. So let's look at some code for that now. 
I take in the input. This is just the adjacency matrix. Then for each edge, I just I um I store the index of an edge between u and v so that it's easier for me to print the answer later on. And then I count the number of edges between a given pair of nodes and I also set their distance to one. And after that, I've, I've made this breadth first search function, which basically I pass in the edge. I want to remove the nodes that um, the edge connects. And if, if there's only one edge connecting those nodes, then we don't have any connection in the graph anymore between those two nodes. So I set the distance between them to infinity. After that, this is standard O of n squared breadth first search. I won't be explaining this. But I will leave a link to a tutorial down in the description below if you want to check that out. And before we return from our function, we again set that edge weight to 1. Because edge removals are independent of other edge removals. And also one thing we do here is we store the parent of our nodes. So this is basically the shortest path of our input graph gives us the answer for edges that don't lie on that shortest path. And we stored the parent so that we could find the edges on the shortest path. And we can then remove those one by one and check the answer for those edges. So this just reconstructs that path. Now for every two adjacent nodes in our path, we want to remove the edge between them. And then we want to recalculate our answer, which is basically what this does. And this is why I stored the count variable so that I don't explicitly have to give it the index of that edge and I can just give it the two nodes it's, it connects. After that, the answer for the, after that, if our answer for some node is minus one, that's the base value we initialize it with. Then the answer for that edge is just the shortest distance in the input graph. Otherwise we check if that node is so we check if n is actually reachable from node 1 if we remove some edge. If it is, we print the answer. Otherwise, we print minus 1 as given in the input. So yeah, this is it for this video. Thanks for watching. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Also, don't forget to join the Discord server. And I'll see you in the next one.